Hi there, the nice thing about these tutorials is A, that they are not fake news and B, that they are so easy and uh, so effective. I start building a scene accelerated by a factor of five and then we'll dive into the brief explanation I want to transport to you about the non-slipping cloth. So first of all I go to the content browser and I cre create or import one creature here. I scale him down, make the textures visible. Then I create several NURBS curves and they will serve as the well basic outlines for the poncho which I'm gonna create uh, afterwards. This is a little, uh, this is a tricky phase because um, you need to uh, have the details properly ar arranged here. So I have four curves. Now select them all and I create a loft from them. So I get this kind of bell and uh, the interpenetrations here need to be resolved. I don't want any penetrations here between the cloth and the character. And I just make a few refinements here. And now I open or import from Alchemist actually, Substance Alchemist, a very very powerful tool. I import into just dragging and dropping basically a texture here and I select it and uh, I create a, a network for Arnold. And I assign that material to this cloth object. It's a kimono structure really. After this speedy start, we have two objects in the scene. One is our character and one is the cloth. Now we need to convert this into cloth, so we pick it. It needs to be a polygon surface in order to be cloth. We go to FX and N cloth and we create N cloth. Nothing special about it. And um, when we run the simulation it just falls down, it doesn't see, recognize our character. So we need to pick him and create a passive collider. So in our N system, the nucleus system, this is the nucleus here, he is a collider now. And you see that a collision happens. It could be a little bit more high resolution. We have a pretty rough cloth due to the resolution of the geometry, but actually it is quite good and uh, you see the arms are being respected and the hands are being respected and then the cloth falls down into the infinite ground. We don't want that and uh, this is the tiny trick I want to show you. It's so effective and sweet. You right mouse click edge and um, when you see these things, you have the soft selection tool. When you press B, you have the straight selection tool. Press B again, have the soft selection. We need a straight selection uh, today. And I double click this or that edge here. So I get the whole edge loop. This is important. You have the whole edge loop now. Now you go to N constraint and you uh, constrain the component to component. And then you get this little chain here and check out what it's doing. It is behaving a little bit different for the cloth, but now you can go to the attribute editor, control A that is, and here you have the strength. It's currently set to 20. When you set it to 100, And when you set it to 1000, there's no limit really, you get basically something which fits him and takes ages until it actually slips down, if it does slip down. So this is a very simple piece of geometry, but it uh, does suits the purpose. So this is the very simple and effective component compo to component command here which basically creates this chain which is holding the cloth together at that specific area. And with this I leave you to your own experiments. Have a nice day. Bye bye. P.S. This is frame 280 and in the viewport everything looks okay 
And I actually found a bug, because when you render exactly this frame or previous frames, you see a penetration of the hands with the cloth. So what is the truth now? The rendering or the play blast? The viewport or Arnold? I don't know.